I'm Chloe, and I've spent the last five years traveling the globe, creating inspiring content for my travel blog, Wanderlust Chloe. What does that mean? Well, basically, regardless of where I am in the world, my camera will be in my hand. My travels have taken me from my home in London to buzzing cities in Spain, exotic islands in the Caribbean, and special spots in Asia. One of my most treasured adventures was a trip to Indonesia where I spent a month zigzagging from city to coast. This trip holds a lot of special memories. So many in fact that I often find myself looking back through old photos and reminiscing. There was the morning I spent exploring Borobudur. Built back in the 9th century, this is the largest Buddhist temple in the world. I remember arriving in the dark, wondering what lay in front of me. As the first golden rays of sun appeared, the silhouettes of the stupas and buddhas came into view. The sky went from blue to purple to pink to orange and then settled on a luxurious shade of gold. Pure magic and a wonderfully spiritual experience too. Bali is a great place for adventure lovers. The scenery is mesmerizing with lush forests, rice paddies, volcanoes, waterfalls and beaches. I stopped by the rugged cliffs of Uluwatu one day and enjoyed the Tagalalang rice terraces near Ubud the next. One of my proudest moments took place in Bali. After an early wake-up call, we drove to the base of Mount Batur, an active volcano with a peak of over 1,700 metres. The aim? To make it to the top by sunrise. It was a big challenge. A combination of the steep gradient, slippery volcanic rubble and a race against the clock. With each step, I became more and more breathless and my face reddened until it was a bright shade of beetroot. Thank God it was still dark and no one could see me. It became a battle of mind over matter. My body was struggling and wanting to give up, but my mind was taking me all the way to the very top. But I did it. Yes, it was tiring, but wow, was the view incredible. I cooked eggs in the steam of the volcano and looked out at the view, reflecting on the experience. However, the highlight of my trip to Indonesia was the week I spent in the exotic archipelago known as Raja Ampat, a region that is raw, rugged and the closest thing to paradise that I've found on my travels so far. Above the ground, exotic birds called to each other while hermit crabs danced along the sand and in the water, majestic lionfish prowled past tropical fish. I hiked, snorkeled, kayaked, danced with the local kids and took more photos in those few days than I've taken on most of my trips since. These photos of Indonesia hold so many memories of moments, of people, of challenges, of rewards. I can fill several photo books with photographs from my month in this Southeast Asian wonderland. And no doubt it's somewhere that I'll be revisiting again in the future, with my camera, of course. Until then, I'll reflect through my Siwi photo book, where I can relive my memories through the photos I captured.